Marketing folks can be picky. They care about the color shades that you choose in your applications, and they want that, that experience to be unified across all of your applications. Well, in Canvas applications in the past, we had to do this through variables. And now, with modern Canvas applications, you can now use the theme feature to make this yourself. So stay tuned on a video on how to use custom themes inside of your Canvas application. If you're interested in more content around the Power Platform, please visit our website to get a 40% discount off our annual subscription today. Use my promo code prag.works forward slash Brian40. Most companies that are medium size or larger have a, 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 have a PDF that looks a little bit like this, a branding guide that says what, how your logo can be used, what variants can be used, and what fonts are used, and things like colors for primary and secondary colors. Whether you work for a school or a medium sized company or large company, you have one of these likely in your organization. So when you build an application and you arbitrarily pick colors, it could be a little upsetting for your customer. Uh, in this case, the marketing folks. So in this video, we're gonna walk through how do you create your own custom themes. I wanna start by first of all, opening up an environment and I'll go over to my main environment and we'll just, just for the, for the uh, purpose of expediency, we're going to go home and we'll have AI create our application. Uh, create an application to track uh, my Pokemon collection. Is that Pokemon, Pokemon, I don't know. Pokemon, Mon collection. All right, there we go. And really we don't care about the, the, the actual application in this case. I just wanted to create something very quickly to allow you to see that. You can see in this case, AI has got the actual real data in this case. And as we go through this, it's gonna create an application in a few seconds. One of the key themes of turning on this feature, as soon as the application is done, we're gonna to go to our settings panel and we're gonna turn on the custom themes now. You'll see right now in this case, that the theme button is missing. Now, by the time you watch this video, it might be there for you. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to go ahead and show how to turn it on from the ground up. So my application is now done. You'll see there's no theme section down on the side here. I do have a theme section right here, but no insert theme. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the modern themes. You'll first start by hitting the settings button on your bottom left down below. So I hit the settings button there. Then we'll go over to scroll down this main tab and you'll see modern controls and themes. Go ahead and turn that on. Again, by the time you watch this video, this might be on by default. We'll then close it and we now get a new theme section on the left here. As I go through this and click on these themes, we can see my header changes, my, my colors of my selectors all change, my things like buttons will change also. Matter of fact, I'm gonna throw a quick button here just so you can kind of see what that looks like as well. There's my button down below. And as I go through this, this button's not gonna do anything at all except look pretty right now. Okay, so we now have that piece done. So our next step is these don't resemble any of my company's colors. They do in actuality, but we'll, we'll go ahead and say they don't. So in my case, I wanna build a custom theme and use that custom theme throughout this application. So every button looks like this. Now, traditionally, you go through and you create a variable of some sort. And you'd use that variable to say, tie that to this color and tie this to this color and so on and so on, or a constant. In my case, though, there's now an easier way to do that and to make sure everything is now standardized. So up top here, you'll now see an add a theme. I'll click on that. I'll call this just pragmatic work, so my company name. All right, pick whatever font you wanna use. I'll just go Arial for the time being. And then I'll go back to my trusty PDF document I had open a moment ago. I'll capture that, that color right there. Go back over to my application again. There we go, paste that color code in. There we go. And then I'll, it actually is gonna create the gradient signs that are necessary also. And it tells which colors are, are go well together. When I hit create, We'll see my color looks a little bit different, not by much, but it looks a little different than this. So now you can see the old and the new, it looks a little variant variation here. And you can also go through and edit that color. Matter of fact, I'll make it more stark here. I'll go more purplish theme here so you can kind of obviously see it is. So now, if you want to change every button and everywhere in this application, you simply hit the little three dot, hit edit, change your color, hit save, and then you're off to the races. Now, this is all part of the new modern controls that are available to you in Power Apps. If it's driven by a theme, then you can be covered by your own theme now. 
Now, a common question we get asked is, can I use this across multiple applications? At this time of the recording, at least, no, you cannot. It's, it's, this theme is only available in this given one this application at this time. But let Microsoft know your feedback on that. And if you want to have that, put a, put a feature request out there or vote for a feature request, and I'm sure you'll get that uh, recommendation out there as well. As, uh, well. So as you add any new elements here, like that new button here, for example, you'll notice that it complies with that theme as well. So in this video, we showed you how do you, how do you use the themes in general and how do you create your own themes. If you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe to Pragmatic Works to get more videos like this or check out our channel for previous videos as well. Thanks so much for watching this video. Have a great day.